This video is to demonstrate the functionality of the Temtrek wireless monitoring system which has been designed to replace the manual form of temperature monitoring in your food service operation. What we see here is the login screen where you can enter your username and your password. This can be customized according to the users and as much users as you require we can add on to the system. I'm just logging into the system which is installed on your server so if you log in the system the first screen which will appear will be the groups. We have different forms and different ways to organize your food service operation and split them in different groups. As you can see on this screen, we have three different colors. We've got yellow for all in range, all normal. Temperatures are in the critical limit assigned. We've got blue, which means too cold. So in this group, something has gone too cold, which is below the critical limit assigned. In the red box, the red color stands for too hot, which means something in this group become too warm above the critical limit assigned. These groups can be customized again to your requirements and the names can be changed according to your requirements as well. If I click on the group, for example Lobby Launch, it will load the sensors which are in this group. So you have the group name on top of the uh, as a heading, as a header, and you have the temperature, the real time temperature assigned to each sensor. So you've got the name of the fridge, freezer, under counter, or cold room, as well as the live temperature, as well as the range which has been assigned to it, which we call the critical limit. One click on the, group, on the number itself will give you the temperature range for the last 24 hours which we call Temtrek history report. Different types of reports are available in the Temtrek software. Under login you, you record Temtrek current sensor readings and this will bring you to the current sensor readings in your group. If you go back to all group summary it will show you all your groups. You can look for specific temperature sensors and their record if you go down to the daily summary. If you click on the daily summary, we will become an option. We have to select the sensor. So if someone wants to see a specific sensor or specific cold room, under counter, upright freezer or fridge from the local authorities, instead of showing you a manual temperature record you can click on select sensor and you will then select the sensor which is available alphabetical order according to the group one mouse click will give me a week's report which we call the temperature record and we split it into morning and afternoon as well as entire day Example here, we've got Wednesday, October 23rd, 2013, morning time, average, minimum, maximum, how many records we have taken, PM, average, minimum, maximum, how many records have been taken, entire day, average, minimum, maximum, how many records we have taken. The amount of records can be customized and the interval of the records being taken are also customizable. We have the availability of looking for different periods. We can go for a two week period, a month period, two months, even one year. Data has been stored on your server and will not delete itself and it has been deleted from the customer itself. There are different reports which you can look at, for example, the equipment trend report.
this report will show you a trend of temperatures of your fridges for the specific period. So here we can see again they are separated by group and you can see that it will be splitted by months December, January, February, March and so on. So this will help you to have preventive maintenance of your sensors. If we go again under report section, go to temp track, go to daily sensor report, 12 hour. One mouse click will lead you to a 12 hour report which is again organized by group. So we have the undercounter fridge AM average 7.3 for example, PM 12 to 12, 7.4. The purpose of the system is to record the temperature and to make these records available to the local authorities or for your internal quality management. If we have a temperature alarm, we have a box up here which will be blinking. So in this case we are simulating an alarm whereby you can see the current alert conditions again split it by group. Example aqua kitchen sensor ID, alert type, sensor name, time, end of the alarm and the value at that time of the particular sensor as well as the acceptable range which has been set to. We call that critical limit. There is a different form of security built in this software which we call it notification lock. The temp track notification lock is recording that the people concerned in your food service operation have been informed successfully via our software in different methods of alarm. We can send SMS, send email and escalate those emails to different persons in your organization which again are customizable. This report makes sure that we have a proof and an evidence that people have been informed of the incident and of the alert. In order to clear an alert we will check this box and acknowledge the alert which will open a window which will give you again specific information about the alert starting from high sensor reading, name, fridge, number, temperature, critical limit. We can now enter standard corrective actions. Close the door, notify maintenance, discard products, whatever. You can enter also manually corrective actions and, and clear alarms manually by clicking the clear alert box. So now the alarm has been cleared. You can also have a look on the alerts by day, how many alerts you did had per day. So you have current alert conditions which have not been cleared. So someone has to log in the software to clear those alarms. We only use the temp track report section and we have various different types of reports and conditions we can look at which starting from 2 hour, 12 hour or monthly. The main function of the system is to have temperature recorded and people informed in an event if the critical limit goes above or below the set area that people are informed of the alarm and the temperature alarms are cleared by the respective user. We can lock off the software by logging off and the program will run 
on the server continuously recording temperature and will tell you and let you know automatically if something has gone wrong or right.